Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18932 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. Uh, we also had a 19H2 build this week, but that um, I've got a separate video of that, which you can see on our YouTube channel. So what's new with this build? Well, there's quite a few changes to the eye tracking controls. So this is in Windows 10, where if you've got an eye tracking camera, you can actually use it to control Windows. So if you need um, accessibility options, you can use your eyes to actually control Windows and control the cursor. I can't show you that because I haven't got one of the eye tracking ca the cameras, but uh, I'll include the link to the details with a blog post on the digitallifestyle.com. So what else has changed? So I'm going to fire up the browser to show you uh, a couple of screenshots that, are, that Microsoft published because um, I haven't got these changes and Microsoft are doing it. I'm not sure this is a good idea really. What they're doing is they're only sending some of these setting changes out or changes that are coming through. They're only sending them to selected devices. So, so you've got a notification here. Now I haven't got here is a little dialogue, a uh, little settings box. Now that should be on there. Um, so it's not there. So Microsoft haven't enabled this feature on my device. So what you should be able to do is click on the settings button there and then that takes you to this new area here where you can view the notification settings and uh, you can see them in order. But then if I go to my settings, you see my settings for notification center and focus assist are still the old ones. So I can't show you um, the changes, which is a bit frustrating, but Microsoft wanted to test it out with a select um, group of people. So those are changes in this build that I can't actually show you. But the idea behind this is that you can see a list of um, applications that cause notifications and you can sort them and, and, and also up here in notification center there was an option to go straight to notifications on there but uh, that's not there on my device. So that's one of the changes that they've included and that's actually the main change with this build so sorry I can't show you exactly. There are a couple of other changes uh, as you see these notifications here these are coming through my, from my Android phone through your phone and you see them all popping up on there and that's because um, that's the your phone app which has been available for Windows Insiders with notifications for a while but that, now that's been open to everybody so um, if you're even if you're not a Windows Insider you can use your phone app and get your Android notifications into Windows 10. Uh, something else that they've done they've made some changes to when notifications come through if you're using the screen sharing feature then uh, you can actually interact with them. I can't use the screen sharing feature because they're not supporting the Pixel 2 XL at the moment. They're only supporting four or five Samsung devices. I've got Surface Go, which is what I'm using here. So that is uh, supported, but you need that combination of devices before you, this will work. The rest of the changes, I'm afraid, are all rather minor and nothing too much. Um, they are changing some of the background syncing settings uh, with the to re remove to re improve the reliability of syncing so you may see some settings don't sync anymore things like um, your, your background color or your, your background image and your taskbar orientation and that kind of thing um, so they want feedback if you're having issues with that so they do some other things like excluding git and hg and svm files from the indexer which should improve the indexing uh, they fixed some issues downloading um, when you're downloading builds, it was on 0%. They fixed some issues with uh, Explorer XE crashes and they fixed some setting crashing issues as well. But that's quite a long list of changes. Uh, so the release notes actually are quite longer than no, of the fixes. The known issues actually shrunk down somewhat. Um, if you one of the things that, uh, and I've got these on here on the digitallifestyle.com, uh, so there's all the fixes, and here's the known issues. One of the things you might see is if you're installing games via the Xbox app, they may fail. Um, so if you want to carry and do that, you may want to roll back or wait for a f and wait for a fix for that. There's still the usual things about anti-cheat software. Um, older versions of anti-cheat software won't work. That was affecting the May update. Realtek SD cards, you, regular views will, will re recognize these and tamper protection. If you see though, that's actually quite a short list now. 
um, which is not bad really when you consider that 19H2 that we're on now is not due out to the first half of next year. Of course they could introduce a lot more bugs as they introduce new features but we're not getting a huge amount of new features either. Anyway, so that's the changes to, to this build, it's 18.932. If you want to see the changes to the 19H2 development of Windows 10, go on our YouTube channel and you can see those. And we've got lots more. I've got our weekly roundup news videos and other stuff as well. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.